Ah, foliage. I love looking at foliage. Especially in Unreal Engine, it's quite beautiful. But wait, have you ever wondered what makes the foliage in your favorite video games look so incredibly real? Well, let me show you. Today, I show you the world of translucency maps and why they play an essential role in crafting realistic looking foliage. In the real world, when sunlight hits a leaf, it doesn't just bounce off the surface. Some of it penetrates and scatters within, giving the leaf a glow that adds depth and life. This is where translucency maps come in. They simulate how light interacts within the surface, determining which parts of the light are reflected, absorbed or transmitted. When light hits our digital leaf or branch or flower or whatever you want to use, the translucency map dictates how much of the light should be passed through and in what direction creating this beautiful looking natural glow. But enough talking, let's just hop over to Unreal Engine and I'll show you how to set up a shader using this simple method. So, so here we are in Unreal and this is my Megascans example plant, if it wants to focus. I drop you the link on which plant this is and now let's see our translucency map in action. Look at this shadow. If I turn away from the sun, it's gone. And if I look back and put it right in the sun, that's what the translucency mask is doing and this is adding a lot of realism to your foliage. So let's hop over to the shader. It's pretty easy. That's the whole shader. So obviously there is no channel packing going on and it's it's an AK texture which is completely overkill but for the demonstration it's good enough. The main part is in here. You need to make sure you put your blend mode on mask and the shading model is subsurface. Also enable two-sided foliage because one-sided looks yeah, let's say interesting. So obviously we want two shaded. Uh, two-sided, not two-shaded. And now it looks correct. I have my albedo, normal, roughness, opacity and the translucency. If for some reason the atlas you're using doesn't have the translucency, you could just put your albedo into Photoshop, apply a hue saturation and make it more saturated. And that would be a good replacement for if you not have access to a translucency map. If you want to go completely insane, you could add a thickness map telling Unreal Engine with black and white and some gray values where you want more translucency and less translucency. But that's something for a different video. If you now check our plant again, I have a point light hidden. And yeah, here we can see the effect again. So the point light is behind the leaf. And here we can see the effect if we increase the radius or maybe the brightness, change it to, I don't know, maybe wet. Yeah, you can see the effect. So it's a nice effect, adding a lot of realism to every kind of foliage. So yeah, make sure to use it. So next time you're wandering through a virtual forest and you're struck by its beauty, remember, there's a complex dance of light happening behind the scenes. And if you are now wondering how you can achieve this kind of realism, you should check out this video where I show you how to scan your own foliage.